Good morning, guys. We are officially 18 days out of the Olympia. I got a fresh haircut finally today. So I decided to do my cardio and I'm walking straight to the barber shop, which is 18, not 21 minutes, one way, one way back. So we have 42 minutes of cardio. Now we have finally, I'm so hungry, breakfast. And guys, don't forget, this today is our seventh day of low carbs. So I hope my weight will drop until tomorrow. We're gonna check it next episode. But today my weight was 207.8. So we have to lose seven to eight pounds, which is pretty good. I think we're gonna cut the water and that's at least six pounds. So we have two, three, four pounds to lose the next 18 days, right? Coach is pretty happy with this situation right now. So I am as well. And we're gonna train shoulders today at Fit Club, right? We're not going to the Dragon Slayer today. We're gonna train at the Fit Club. Jay Cutler's gym, if you remember. Check it out, we, we've already been there. We trained legs and had a really good leg session. It's, uh, I guess, 20, 21 days out. Check the video, pretty cool. So I'm gonna put my meal in and we're gonna see each other at the gym again. Bon provecho, good appetite, good appetite. It tastes good, man. Pretty good. This is actually an already prepped meal from tasting your prep. So I don't need to come back at home, cook again, waiting another 30, hour, uh, 30 minutes. It's just ready to eat, put it in the microwave, two minutes, perfect. This is 14, 14 egg whites and greens, that's it. I don't have 14 egg whites. What is that? That's 60 grams of oats, 25 grams of protein powder, one piece of chocolate, a tablespoon peanut butter, some sugar-free marble syrup and blueberries. I like this more than yours. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy. There we go. Oh, it tastes, so, it looks so nice. Oh. It is. 18 days big. Then we can eat together. Fucking five kilogram oatmeal bowl. <laughs> I'm gonna do this for you. Yes. Vinny! Hey. 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 I'm done. How are you? Good. 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 I love you, buddy. Let's share it with everybody. I will. 100%, my friend. What are we hitting today? Shoulders. Today is, today is really, really challenging. I don't say it's hard. Every day is, it, it's not easy. But in the end of the day, that's what I have to do right now. I want to go to a place where I've never been before. So there's no there's no time to struggle, there's no time to cry. There's just time to go through it. Try fail, try fail, try fail. But today like after seven, eight days of low, like really low carbs, he reduced the carbs again, so we're talking about 80 grams of cooked white rice, which is uh, not really that much. Anyway, we're gonna train heavy. Still, we try to lift heavy weights to maintain muscle size, muscle fullness. And I don't want to. I, I don't want to go back to a place where where I'm telling myself, hey, reduce the weight, it's a good, it's blah, it's, it's not necessary, but if you can lift heavy weights, you should lift heavy weights. In a proper form, of course, but 
you should stay as heavy as possible. So we're gonna do heavy as side laterals right now. You like the pendulum squat? No, actually not. <laughs> it's like, how do you say, a mixture of pace and love. So you pace the exercise, but you'll laugh when you finish. Did you try the second pendulum? No, just this one. The second one is way better. This one over here. I want to see you trying. Dying. You want to see me dying? Yes, I want. You're a bad Good news, just got a text message from Miguel, he has a spot free for treatment today, 5.30, now it's uh, 3.30, so approximately two hours, that's quite okay, we we changing the room, we're going uh, in, into the posing room, two or three rounds of posing. Then we have post-workout and if we have enough time, I'm gonna walk back home, you're gonna take the car. So I have my cardio in, then I uh, will eat something, maybe two meals, heading to another gym, get the treatment, and maybe I'm gonna do another round of cardio, Stairmaster at the gym and I will come back late at night to cut the video 
and hopefully get some hours of good recovery. Oh, maybe what we could do is, if I'm done with cutting and all this stuff, we could go into the pool, in the, into the hot tub. We have a hot tub, like very hot water outside. But if you come out, it's pretty cold. Outside is pretty cold, yeah, so maybe we should take some bath suits with us. Bath suits. You get, shouldn't get sick now. No. Getting sick now is worst case. Okay. So uh, let's finish the workout, some posing, and then let's get out of here. Vamos. Apps and calls on one day. Yeah. Five years of non-training apps, like skipping app day and skipping calf day. Like every week for it, yeah. years. And now you get a forehead pump. You or me? You. Yeah. Works by more. That's that's typically American. Just by more. Just by more. Let's get some seven horsepower or eight hundred. I can lay down right now and yeah. I can chill and he's like I'm just gonna watch he's gonna kill me right now <laughs> <laughs> the torture room guys yeah. hey what's going on everybody working with uh, big Mike here and uh, we're gonna be working on the legs mostly just pushing water out so that some fluid retention might be in the legs so we're just gonna start with a little bit of effleurage and uh, just try to get that lymphatic system to just push some more water out from the quads, the hamstrings, and even into the glutes. So it's gonna be our main focus today. Now being a massage therapist, understanding the body from the bodybuilder's point of view to now a therapist's point of view, why pushing water out and the closer and closer it gets to peak week, especially during peak week, just helps the muscle detail just pop so much easier with good oxygen flow so you don't get the soreness in the muscle or cramping. And for people that don't believe I was not a bodybuilder, that was me I right saw there. The picture, yeah. <laughs> that was me right there. You can get tissue work all the way up until Wednesday or Thursday. Oh yeah, so yeah, close? Like that close, up to 24 hours before like weigh-in or check or check-in time or even the time you're gonna walk on stage. And I will even do scraping, but I will use stone instead of metal. So there's no damage to the muscle, no bruising, no broken uh, blood capillaries, but it will even flush out water as well. Oh. Same thing that people would do with lymphatic drainage, you can do also with stone. And I've done that before as well with so many athletes, and it actually will enhance detail as well. Why people don't do it is because they're scared, they don't know. 
but I've done it to so many athletes that came out very, very well. And uh, their details even popped out even more. So, um, but it's a very unorthodox um, technique, especially to even do a little bit of like muscle scraping with stone so close to the show. Um, that athletes get scared because nobody is, nobody's tried it before. Um, so you really have to trust your therapist to do that. How do you feel? I feel like my legs look like pumped. No, I'm feeling very relaxed. Like I was so close to sleep. Yeah. And this is like never ever happened before. There you go. Yeah, it sounds yeah. really, really good. But you know what? I need to do cardio right now, which is not a good spot, but... <laughs> not when you're already tired. But yes, I was, it was nice. Thank you so much. Let's see, flex the legs a little bit. See if you can flex the legs. Stand up, see if you can flex the legs a little bit. Oh, see? See that detail just coming through? Mm -hmm. Nice.